Also new in the night team tonight, a packed meeting tonight in the wake of more trouble tonight for the Coventry Fire District. And this time, it's about money. The district is in financial trouble and it could cause major problems for both taxpayers and for firefighters. And then all of this comes as the district is deciding what to do about a controversial fire chief. He's on paid leave tonight and the night team's Olivia Fecto is live in Coventry where the board of directors talked about both of those issues tonight. Olivia. Dan and Patrice, the Coventry Fire District owes nearly half a million dollars on a line of credit plus unpaid bills and back taxes, and all of that adds up to a big problem. Of course we're concerned. If you lived in the district, you'd be concerned too. There's lives at stake. Taxpayers like Robert DePadua are upset after a meeting at the Coventry Fire District ended with the board refusing to take public comments. DePadua says he wants to know what's going on. I don't want this district to happen like the last district. Oh my God where this is, I, I've seen these numbers before. David Gorman is the president of the Coventry Firefighters Union. He watched the Central Coventry Fire District go through receivership. Now he says this fire district faces the same problem. It owes almost half a million dollars borrowed to make up for uncollected taxes. In total, the district's budget is more than half a million dollars in the red. It's like deja vu, the numbers, the withholding of payments to, uh, to the pension, to pay other bills, the shuffling and juggling of, of uh, not paying this vendor to pay that vendor. He says that could lead to reduced fire and medical services in Coventry. The deputy fire chief is concerned too. Well, the financial is, is a big pot because that affects the personnel and that affects the safety of the guys. The district is still under scrutiny after Chief Paul Labadia's suspension. The board has named attorney William Harsh to investigate the chief. Meanwhile, Gorman says he doesn't want this district to go through the same problems as Central Coventry did, and he's urging the board to look at the big picture. You may have had a good week, but that's only good for this week. What do we do come next week? And documents from the fire district show as of last Thursday, the district also owed nearly $150,000 in unpaid bills. But as of tonight, the district says those bills have mostly been paid. Live in Coventry, Olivia Fecto, NBC 10 News Night Team.